Hi. And today I'm sharing some stories with, with some of my friends. <laughs> some of my bear friends. Do you have any friends who are bears? Well, I have to tell you that when I was younger, I had my best friend was my teddy bear, Tucker. I took Tucker everywhere I went. I loved him so much. And these days, when I think about Tucker, it reminds me of a story that I want to share with you today. It's called Jenny's Bear, and it was written by Michael Ratnett. And it's about a little girl who loved bears. She may even have loved bears even more than I do. Well, that's kind of hard, but this is the story of Jenny's Bear. Now, Jenny had hundreds of bears of all shapes and all sizes, but what she wanted most in the world was to meet a real bear. One day she said to her mom, Mom, do you think that a real bear would ever come around here and I could meet him? And her mom said, I don't know, I don't think so because there aren't many bears around here. I don't think there are any bears around here at all. But, but do you think, Jenny said, that if we went into the shed and cleaned it up and made a cozy, cozy bear den, do you think a bear would come? And her mom said, I don't know. Well, but what we can do is we can clean out the shed for you and your toy bears, and you guys can enjoy the cozy, cozy bear den for yourselves. Well, they started cleaning out the shed, and that shed was a mess. Mom said, wow, look at this. Look at how messy this shed is. We haven't been in here in years. And Jenny looked around the shed, and she thought, you know what? No wonder bears don't come if all the sheds around here are as messy as this. Now, when they had finished cleaning out the shed, Jenny brought in all of her friends, all of her toy bears, and she put them around in the shed, and she said, there there. Now when a real bear comes, he'll feel welcome. Well, I've got to go to lunch, so you guys all wait, and if a real bear comes, make him feel right at home. So Jenny went in, and she ate her lunch, but the whole time she was thinking, and she was wishing, wishing, wishing. She said, Mom, do you think if I wish hard enough, a real bear would come? And her mom said, I don't know. Well, when Jenny finished her lunch, she brought all the things that she needed for tea in case the bear should come. She brought some biscuits and some jelly and some little buns, and she took them back to the shed. And when she opened the door, there was no bear there. Jenny set up the tea anyway, and she sat with all of her toy bears, and she waited. And they waited, and they waited, and they waited. And just when she thought no bear would ever come, there was a knock on the door. Come in, said Jenny, and the door opened, and in walked the biggest, brownest, friendliest bear. <gasps> oh, you've come, said Jenny. And the bear said, hi. Well, what a cozy, cozy nest. I'm looking for a place to spend the winter, and I have to tell you, this is the coziest place I've seen. Well, I made it cozy just for a bear just like you to come, said, said Jenny, but please have a seat. And she sat him down, and she served him tea, and she poured his tea, <clears throat> and she had him have some buns and some biscuits and jelly, which he really loved because it was so, so wobbly. And... And the bear looked at his cup of tea and he said, <clears throat> oh, what kind of tea is this? Because it didn't seem very full. And she said, why, it's pretend tea. Oh, said the bear, pretend tea. That's a bear's favorite kind of tea, pretend tea. And he finished that cup of tea and he said, I'll have some more, please, but a little bit less sugar this time. And the bear gulped it down in one gulp and he put down his cup. And Jenny said, well, what next? And the bear said, well, do you have any books? I like stories. Jenny said, I have, well, wait, what kind of story would you like? Would you like a sad story or would you like a funny story? And, and the bear said, oh, oh, a sad story. I'd like a sad story, but not too sad. And Jenny opened her book and she started reading a sad story and the bear started crying, oh no, too sad, too sad. So quickly, Jenny flipped in her book and she found another, oh, here's a happy story. And she started reading it and it wasn't just a happy story, it was a funny story and that bear started laughing. <laughs> 
and they both laughed so hard that they fell on the floor laughing. That was a funny story, said the bear. Well, Jenny said, well, what would you like to do next? And the bear said, I don't know. What do you have for fun? And Jenny went over and off of her shelf, she got a little bottle. And the bear looked at it and he said, bubble juice, bubble juice. I love bubbles. Do you know that bears love bubbles almost as much as anything else in the world? And we are experts at blowing bubbles. So they went outside and they took out the bubble wand and the bear blew. And he was very, very good at blowing bubbles. Bubbles everywhere. He said, bears are excellent at blowing bubbles. As a matter of fact, my grandfather blew a bubble so big that it lifted him right off of the ground and he floated away for a hundred miles. A <gasps> hundred miles, said Jenny. Did he ever come home? Why, yes, he did come home. He wrapped himself in brown paper, said the bear, and he put some stamps on his head and he mailed himself back home. So what else would you like to do? Well, I like to play. I like to write. I like to read. And I love stories. We've had stories. Let's blow more, blow more bubbles. And they blew more bubbles. And they played all afternoon. And by the end of that afternoon, Jenny and that bear were becoming very, very good friends. And then the bear said, well, I have to go. And Jenny said, but I, I thought you said that you were going to stay for the winter. And he said, but it's not winter yet. I'll come back if I can. I'll come back when it's winter. But until then, I have a lot of things to do. But are you sure you'll come back, said Jenny? Well, you know what? I will try to come back. But if you keep wishing, I'll come back. And the bear picked Jenny up and he gave her the biggest, biggest bear hug. And he put her down and she waved goodbye to her new friend. She had finally met a real bear. When she went in for dinner, she said, Mom, Mom, I met a new bear. And her mom said, a real bear? Now, Jenny, you know that, that you didn't meet a real bear. And Jenny ate her dinner, and she waited. She waited for winter. Every day she would go out and she would check to the shed to see if her bear had come back. Every day, no bear. And one day her mom said, Jenny, what's the matter? And she said, I miss my bear. And her mom said, Jenny, you know that that was just a pretend. There wasn't a real bear. And Jenny put her head down. Even if I just keep wishing, even if I just keep on wishing. And she kept wishing. And then one day, one morning, she looked out of her window and it was snowing and it was Christmas morning. And she looked out and she saw something out there. Oh my, she put on her hat and she put on her boots and she ran outside as quickly as she could. And there in the snow was a big snow bear. And she looked down and she saw paw prints that led to her shed. And then she went to the shed. And when she opened the door inside, she saw bears, bears of all sizes and all shapes, real bears. And right in the middle of it was her very own big, wonderful, friendly brown bear. And she said, you came back. And he said, you kept wishing. And he said, you know what? I'll pour the tea myself. And Jenny said, what kind of tea? And the bear said, pretend tea. And Jenny said, you know what? That's my favorite kind of tea. You know what? Sometimes it's my favorite kind too. Mm. A little less sugar. Like Tucker, Jenny had lots of toy loveys. I bet you have one too. I wonder if our friend Miss Marie ever had a toy lovey. Let's ask her. Miss Marie? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Miss Marie? Yeah. Here I am. Here, Here I am. Behind all of these bears, um, I'm gonna sit right over here. All right. Okay. Yes, I did. His name was Booger. When I was a little girl, I was afraid to sleep in the dark. 
and I always wanted the light on. So my dad gave me a big stuffed pillow that looked like a jelly bean and I just started to call him Booger. And Booger would protect me from all the scary things that was in the dark. But when we moved, when I was about eight years old, he kind of got lost in the room. But he was re replaced by my new baby brother who kept me company. The story, Jenny's Bear, talks about friendship, sharing, and pretend with her favorite toys. I have a simple craft that I think you would really love. We're going to build a bear using paper bags. So, all you will need all the things here. You have ears, your eyes, your feet, your face, your hands, a ribbon, some newspaper, and a paper bag. And this will all come in a kit that you will pick up at the Avondale Library Youth Department. Now, the only thing you would need to do is open up your bag, take your newspaper, and just ball it up, making stuffing to go in. stuffing into your bag, you're going to fold the top down like this. Just like this. Just to kind of close it off. And you're going to use your tape. Like so. All right. Your face, a piece of tape or glue. I'm just taking tape. You can take tape or glue. Okay, now we're working for the hands and the feet. I think I'm gonna put my hands on first. like that. And voila, you have 
your very own lovey there. And you can sit this on your desk or you can sit it on your nightstand. And you can even make little hats to put on it, little bowls like I did here. You can put little signs in their hands that you can look at every day. And that's what you can do. Just use your imagination and you can create any kind of bear or lovey you like. All right, that's it. I think I'll call her Honey Bun. See you later.